I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Dear class of 2022, as you walk through the doors on our first day, we were stepping into a new chapter of our lives. We get involved with our first school sports, our first camp, our first projects, and yet we look at the upperclassmen and it still feels so far. But like the blink of an eye, we are already seniors. For some of us, it's thank goodness I'm done with school. And for others, it's I can't believe we're done. It feels like we've just started. As we embark on this final year of school, we must remember to cherish the lifelong memories we create. This year, we have had our last first day, our last time walking through the school doors, our last time barely making it into class on time, our last time sitting down in the classroom, our last time turning in an assignment, our last time waiting to get picked up in the canteen, our last time using the lift instead of the stairs, our last time talking with our friends in the hallways, our last time walking onto the courts, our last time singing the school song together, our last photo shoot, and our last day. School has been a huge chapter of our lives, and the end is now, which has led to our last day. We shall all embark on one of the many journeys that the world has to offer. So the first question, uh, what's your name and how long have you been in Tunas Buddha? Alright, so for the first question, uh, my name is Benedict and I've been in Tunas Buddha for 17 years since pre-primary. Oh, my name is Jonathan and I've been in TAM for 14 years, 14 years since uh, kindergarten. Uh, and my name is Reynard and I've been in TAM since year 7 and I've been in TAM for 6 years. Well, I've been here since toddler so I've been in Tunas Buddha for my whole life. Uh, I'm Joanna, I've been in Tunas Buddha for 4 years since ninth grade. My name is Jason and I've been here for 15 years. My name is Reyna and I've been in TAM for 15 years since pre k My name is Stella and I've been in TAM for 6 years since year 7. My name is Michelle and I've been in the M for uh, 3 years since year 10. My name is Anderson Wang and I've been in Transmedia for 2 years. Hi. Uh, first question, what is the most memorable event you had in here in the M? What about that event? Uh, what made it so memorable? Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, some of the most memorable things I did in TM are just like simple things. I like uh, spending time in the hotel room in Bali with my friends, ordering room service, um, singing and dancing in the bus during Jogja, and also uh, winning the TM Cup with my friends after a lot of practice. Yeah, I had a lot of memories, uh, a good one, good ones uh, and bad ones, but the ones I remember the most is when we were at Jogja. And you guys know, remember the, what do you call it, the black hole place? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I arrived there with like a few other people. I don't know who it was. I think it was one of you guys. Is it? I don't remember. Okay, anyways. I don't remember. When I arrived, uh, me, and, me and a couple of people like looked, uh, just arrived and we looked at the, at the river, right? Mm. And then over there, I saw a dead goat. Like, oh. like Hanyot. <laughs> what? Yeah, me and the others uh, looked at each other and we were sh shocked. And, uh, yeah, we were shocked and yeah, we just laughed, I guess. Pretty sure I saw a dead dog. Hmm? I saw the head of a cow. I can roughly count the amount of days I had on campus, but uh, the most memorable experience for me in Tunas Muda is on grade 11. We had the joy, joy, uh, the whole cohort's um, cast experience where we helped where we help uh, teaching communities during the pandemic. You know, we, we help raise money to provide with supplies and I believe a tutor or so. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Next question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So I see myself as a successful entrepreneur and investor in the next 10 years. Uh, 10 years from now, the year would be uh, 
2032 and it will mean I'll be 28. Uh, personally for me, 28 uh, should mean that I've uh, established something in life, like to some extent. What I mean by that is that um, I should have a job with a high and stable income, small trustworthy group of friends, uh, a great relationship with my family, and most importantly, by 28, uh, I hope to be married. <laughs> in 10 years, uh, I will probably graduate from TAM uh, and my university, and also pursue uh, my dream career, uh, and I would also like to have an impact to the community and also uh, my country. Okay, next question. How do you feel about graduating uh, from TAM? That so sad. <laughs> that was very really nice. Um, I think graduating for me, never in a million years would I kind of thought that I'll be saying this, but I'm finally a graduate. Um, it's very difficult for me to put my feelings into words as I feel that I am leaving a safe space that I've held on for the past six years. Um, a part of me can't help but feel, of course, very overwhelmed because for the past two years, our life has revolved around online school and knowing that I'll be closing a chapter of my life seems very unreal to me. Um, the memories, the people, um, and the serenity of my high school life will always be with me and um, it's safe to say that I'll be missing the overall vibe of your place. Um, that I've known and cherished for the past six years. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I know question. Continue. What are your final remarks to your friends and teachers in Tunas Muda? Quotes, messages, advice, etc. So uh it's a, it's a YouTube comment, wait, uh it's a quote. <laughs> Uh, here we are, at the end, I'm still here, and I'm still your friend. Hopes and dreams aren't the end, so let's play like way back then. <laughs> um, so I think I have a message to all of my teachers. I would like to thank you for guiding me and all of our students, all the graduating students, teaching not only academic lessons and also life lessons, and I actually look forward to meeting you again in the future. And to all my friends that are graduating right now, uh, good luck with your future studies, friendships, and all in life. God bless you all. To the teachers, thank you for coping with us for the past few years, especially during, during our off-cam and no response situation in online classes. And to my fellow friends, even though our high school and especially like our senior year was rocked by COVID, Let's cherish the moments we made together and hopefully stay in contact until 10, 20, or 50 or 60 years later. <laughs> Good luck on your journey ahead. One, six, one, two, three, five.